me. I just closed it. Oh, here we go. <laughs> Welcome back to Bernie's <laughs> Brew Review. <laughs> Beer Review show brought to you by your homies at Quick Sixer Collective. Show usually posts on the 6th every month. It's not the case this right this time. But if you want to hear uh, the rest of what we do, go ahead and check out the link in our bio. Subscribe, like, all that kind of stuff. Uh, we're your host, Pat Aris, Brittany Fernandez. B, what are we drinking for April 2023? April 2023. It's not yet summer. I would say it's spring. It's a little chilly mm-hmm. uh, today in Tennessee, but I'm going with the Bronx Brewery Summer Pale Ale with a lemon peel because Ooh. that sounds like a beautiful beer. A little, treat. This, a little treat. Speaking of summer day. treats, yes. we got that margarita right now. <laughs> Well, well, well. I don't know. What flavor is that? Margarita. Just, Just... margarita. Mm-hmm. Love it. Love it. Yeah. I love that so much. Uh... I feel like they're both very <laughs> summery beverages. Yeah. Uh, so, Bronx Brewery. Oh, I'm cracking it open. Yeah, crack that. Yeah. I'm for it. In my burial glass. Ooh. Shout out Burial. I love them so much. One of my favorite places ever. That's very cool. They have a lot of cool shit. I love them. They're so extra and I love it so much. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is pretty. Mm-hmm. You're gonna like it. You're gonna probably gonna kill that thing really fast. Promise. It's not as a it's not as dark as it is on the on the computer but it is darker than i thought it was going to be mm-hmm, mm-hmm. um so yeah so like b said bronx brewery uh founded 2011 this is it says it's a balanced and approachable summer ale, pale ale brewed with lemon peel 5.2 mm-hmm. comes in six packs available march through september less it be yeah so that is uh, delicious yeah it's very good <laughs> I did want to wait. I could have wait. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty fire. Damn. Mm-hmm. I had it like in my beer fridge. It's kind of like close to the top where it was like it kind of got a little icy. Ooh. A little preserved. What are we thinking? That's fucking good. Mm-hmm. That's one of the better like citrusy pale ales that I've ever had. So but Bronx Brewery, we know they do some fucking stellar yeah, stuff. Yeah, them and Brooklyn Brewery are both top notch. Go and check. So it's five point two. Did you say that already? Yeah. So it's not too bad. It's a very chill summer. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Summer drink. Yeah, yeah this cool. isn't easy. I also feel like someone who isn't super into IPAs could definitely, you know, yeah, be into this. Maybe yeah, like a... for sure, for sure. It's not like a super hoppy, like pale, you know. No, not at all. Mm-hmm. I've had this in my fridge for a while, as you know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, speaking of uh, new beers, shout out to everybody who was uh cool at the East Nashville Beer Festival. If you're, you know, a new listener or whatever, you know, appreciate uh talking to all you guys and checking everything out, and getting. A little hammered, a little bit. Just a little bit. I'm sure you weren't the only one. Mm-mm. I was texting you guys pretty heavy about it. There is like a fast decline on how drunk people get at beer festivals. Fuck. Shouldn't have ate the ice just now. Anyway, <laughs> uh. <laughs> Let me let me read you the description of this. It's kind of interesting. It says, The summer in the concrete jungle is like no other. On any given weekend, you can hit the Coney Island boardwalk, catch waves at, rock, at the Rockaways, crush fried seafood on City Island, or head oh. to the stadium for a ball game. It's the best city in the world, and it really shows when the weather starts to heat up. It's also the time of year when we brew the citrus pale ale. Oh. So you can always have one in your hand for those classic summer moments. Honestly, this oh. with seafood would be a freaking like amazing. Right? Some fish and chips, action, some hush puppies, something like mm. that. That would be a perfect pairing for that yeah. beer. It's like a, a seaside little, you know, seafood basket or something. Yes. 
Maybe some spoons. It's like I don't know. It's like an it's almost like the refreshingness of a light beer on a hot day. Mm-hmm. But better, obviously. Yeah, no, uh, for sure. Um yeah, so Oh, yeah. that's so good. It's so good. It's like the that like aftertaste is just all lemon, all mm-hmm. lemon peel. So it like hits you really like hard, but it's nice mm-hmm. and refreshing. I can't believe I you've waited that. six months. That's been in your fridge no. for six months. Yeah. So funny. You give me a lot of beer and you know I I know I do I, not go through it fast. You should probably just limit what I give you. Like maybe <laughs> one of whatever. Well, uh, our friend Garrett came over a couple weeks ago, and he had he had the other one that you gave me of this, and he really liked it. Um, mm-hmm. So it's kind of like, oh shit, I forgot that was in there. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I don't know how um, available Bronx Brewery is here. But that's a, another question I was going to ask. Like, is there any? I don't know. I don't even know if our friends over at uh, at uh, Mount Julia Beer Company carry them, but. Can you Maybe. request it if you? Is that uh, a yeah, thing? Yeah. Well, I've requested stuff before, but sometimes it's just like they're the rep that he deals with. I don't know if they have access to some things, and some things aren't shipped to certain states. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah, for a like a bunch of laws, I'm sure. Yeah. Yeah, it might be still, but um, for a long time, I know you couldn't even get um, what was it? Was it PBR? No, I couldn't PBR. Yingling. You couldn't get Yingling in California. Really? Mm-hmm. Interesting. You know, yeah. I wish they would bring Lone Star to Tennessee. I don't understand why. I'm kind of interested, you know, with all this, all this, <laughs> all these idiots complaining Yahoos. about Budweiser right now. <laughs> yeah. I'm kind of surprised like these other light beer companies haven't like tried to pop it in, in different states. But yeah, it was so stupid. We were at the full moon tattoo and horror uh, mm-hmm. festival a couple weeks ago, or last week, I guess. And Jesse was wearing a shirt with a crypt keeper on it, and it yeah, with the Budweiser such a sick shirt. Oh my god, it's the best shirt. It's so and nice. we didn't even think anything about it. And we're like walking, and like he's a little uh in an altered state and i'm a little tipsy so we're like you know do 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 yeah <laughs> and uh this guy goes this motherfucker's wearing an anheuser bush shirt and like we just walked past him like huh we were like what and we yeah. didn't know if it was like being if he was being malicious or if he was being like excited about it yeah. it was so weird and it didn't connect to oh, us stupid. until like a couple minutes later we like Oh, because of the whole fucking like so dumb. Bud Light the thing, because it's people. a Budweiser shirt, you know. Like we're like, what the fuck are you talking about? The dumbest. And people it's like, so if that was you, one, you're in the wrong place because that yeah. festival is just full of a bunch of like weirdos like us. So like, you gotta find somewhere else to do yeah, that shit. In the wrong circle. Two, if you weren't being a shithead, still weird. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just a weird thing to care about, honestly. It's a weird thing to point out. Like, who gives a fuck? Like, seriously. Also, when do people just start hating people? Like, I guess forever, but like, I don't know. Yeah, whatever. It's like, is anybody really bothering you? I don't... That's what I'm saying. Like, bro, just do you. Like, do your also, own life, you know? I love that people think that Bud Light are going to lose money. <laughs> Dude, are you kidding me? Their profits went up. Oh yeah, my like gosh. a fifty-two percent spike in their stock or something. People were buying their shit. <sighs> anyway, crazy. hilarious, hilarious that oh, it yes, all like, every time, every time these weirdos just like react. It's just, they. It's always back, always backfires every time. And I love how people are just pouring out beer and throwing beer away that they've already paid for. Yeah, and I like, think that's just you idiots. Is this prohibition? Like you fucking dumb. Like, come on. Kid Rock fucking shooting his fucking butt like Jesus Christ. And you know what? His bar downtown, guess what they sell? Oh, all in bev. Uh, still. So yeah. Oh, oh still. Still solid Bud Light. Yeah. Uh, I heard uh our, our homie at the beer store told me that they have pulled their contracts. 
So oh, cool book contracts. They're they're in bed Budweiser and stuff contracts. So whatever oh, they probably yeah. have is probably it. The last of it. Well, I love that. Have fun carrying other shit no one wants. But... Yeah, because if you're fucking downtown Nashville, you're probably drinking a Bud Light. Just saying. Yeah. Or <laughs> or something worse. Like God. Bud Light's probably the least offensive thing you're drinking down there. Probably I saw fucking fireball videos. shots all the way down. You know. True. I saw videos of my friend downtown like on Saturday night, and I was like, "Why? And how the fuck did it ever get this bad?" Saturday? I would never go down there on a Saturday. Never. That's like a Tuesday no. at like eleven a.m. Yeah, dude. It's <laughs> it's hilarious. We're going to a show tomorrow at um uh marathon music works so you know shut up come come up and see us if uh you see me there i might have a couple of excuse me i'm trying to reach on this computer yeah, do a, a couple of these guys hand out if you're That's there and uh, dude they're 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 cut to shape so it's like pretty fun mm-hmm. i love them but um uh, anyways what's the yeah. show uh m83 I have no idea what that is. I know. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea what that is. We are going to that terror show next week when you guys are. Yeah, I don't I don't listen to Black Dolly Murder. I don't listen to Terror, but Frozen Soul is on that show mm-hmm. and I'm fucking stoked about Frozen Soul. Okay. Catch, All right, cool. catch me in the pit on that one. <laughs> All right. Well send me send me a playlist on like Apple Music and we'll so Oh, you are not get... gonna be <laughs> You don't know. Oh, I feel like uh, yeah, you're, right, you're right. The, you're right. You've touched the like tip of the iceberg on shit I actually. That's listen true. To. That's true. I should. I mean, not. if I would have rolled the dice and told you that we were going to the show, you wouldn't have believed me. Mm-hmm. Just out of the gate. No, well, I know that Meg was into Bane. Oh, no, dude, Meg's so I was like, into some some metal shit. Yeah, so that was kind of it made a little bit more sense, but I would never guessed. Oh yeah, man. Was uh yeah. Have you been to the East Side Bowl yet? No, I'm excited to go. Oh, it's fun. sick! Yeah, no, it's. I'm excited. I, the... I um subscribe to their newsletter now, so I can see what's going on. The bar but... area is sick too. It's like almost seventies, like oh, vibes. Yeah. That's awesome. Speaking of R.I.P. Donaldson Bowl. Oh my god! Such a that bummer. sucks. So that dumb. place just was a relic and mm-hmm. we've been thinking like we want to go bowling we want to go bowling we need to go to Dawson Bowl because that's our favorite place to bowl mm-hmm. <sighs> cheap pitchers of beer mm-hmm. we should go before it it's done is it the 30th I think oh I don't know maybe we should definitely go though. Well, I'll double check yeah see if we can yeah make it we need there. to do something Meg's Meg's birthday is coming up and I want to she likes she loves bowling so I think it'd be fun to go bowling as a group. I haven't done East Side Bowl. Um, I heard it's fun because it looks cool and everything. Mm-hmm. Um, but the prices are fucking ridiculous. I mean, okay. I love you, East Side Bowl, but the yeah. prices are ridiculous. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Compared to Donaldson Bowl, you know, like mm-hmm. it was affordable. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, half the lights things. don't work in there, so it's like I love it. I love yeah, the vibes. Kinda, it's kind of dope. There's also there's a movie theater out in um, in Madison on like kind of near where the newer Yazoo um is out there. And a uh, movie theater. Yeah, it's closed down. Oh, the it's AMC like, out there. Yeah, it's empty. I was like, yeah, I don't want to go on that thing so bad. But anyway, we uh, we saw a movie there, and that was uh, an experience. That well, I bet. That movie theater needed to be either Demolished. shut down or completely. Yeah, it was like sure. we saw. Um, shit, I don't remember what the fuck. It was that Lucy Hale horror movie there. So dumb. Lucy Hale. Oh. Uh... <laughs> do you know what I'm talking Dude, I about? I do know. I do know. It's a, it was a Truth or Dare. Yes, truth or dare. We saw truth or dare there. Okay. The fucking seats Terrible. are falling apart. It's like the seats, like our seats are like fucking yeah. broken. It's it was bad. God, it was bad. Speaking they did of, not take care of that theater. A few more days till the uh, scream is out on video on demand. So 
yeah, go and check out our review of that. It was a lot of fun. <clears throat> but anyway, I gotta get the. I gotta see when that physical is coming out. I think it's the same day. Oh. So go ahead and check that out. Um, and go to uh, you know, your local video store, Danger Zone Video, if you're in the area, pick that up. Um, but anyways, B, Bronx, <laughs> Bronx, <Okay. Brewery, laughs> summer paleo with lemon peel. <laughs> Went on a tangent, but here we go. Yes. So, okay. Right. What are we thinking? Oh man. Solid. You've almost killed it. I've almost killed it. And also, I fucking love it. Right? I fucking right. love it. I think yeah. I'm going to give it a four. Four out of five? Okay. That's a, that's a high score from B. Go and check my score if you want. If I'm not going to give it a five. Do you? I'm, I'm, I'm trying four to... Four and a half? Four, four point, four. Four seven five. There you go. Well, that's a good score. I'll do 4.75. It's so funny to me. All of your highest that's scoring so beers are from the Northeast. From <laughs> this makes sense. All though. This checks out. Yeah, I belong up there. It yeah. checks out. <laughs> yeah, four point seven five. That's my final answer. Okay, look at that. That it's usually you usually don't kill anything that fast. No, it's so smooth too. It's nice. You know it's how nice IPAs beer. are cut. Like for me, it's not my choice of beer, but yeah, like it takes me a little bit longer. I've come yeah. around to them, but. It's not my, not my first mm-hmm. grab. Speaking of summers, <clears throat> uh, coming up this summer, uh, check our feeds because we're going to be doing a lot of cool shit around uh, Nashville and the surrounding Tennessee area. I would not just Nashville, I think. So that should be fun. Uh, we're we're going to be posting a lot of cool stuff, a lot of cool partnerships, a lot of cool events. So. If we're out and about, uh, you know, stay tuned. Come check us out. Come hang out. Be yeah, fun. Yeah. Grab beers with us. Get drunk with us, maybe. I love drinking. If we go with that friends. far. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be a, it's gonna be a fun summer. But anyway, I think so too. Four seven five B gives it. <clears throat> yes. I'm almost that is it. your go and check it out. Um, it's should be on tap now, March through September. Bronx Brewery. If you're in the Northeast. If you're in the Northeast, send it to you, boy. You know, it'd be fun. Oh, it's, you know? just, it's just so, still, so good even beer, being yeah. in my fridge for six months, it's still so rich. Yeah, it's a good beer. It really is. Great beer. Uh, yeah. Uh, speaking of Bronx, you know, shout out our girl AOC. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, we can't. Good. You know, let's, go, we go, let's go polar opposites of what we were talking about earlier. <laughs> uh, um, but anyways, uh. Yeah, if you want to have your beers on the show, email us quicksixerpodcast at gmail.com or just hit us up on any of the socials. I'm pretty active on there. And uh, yeah, stay tuned for more Britney's Brew Review every month. And if there's boy. a beer you want us to try, right? Yeah, send, send that shit through. We'll, yeah, it would be a, Request, an honor. Like... You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. And we'll drink all of it. Yeah. And B will get one. One of them. Just one. One of them. She doesn't yeah. know how to drink them all. I'll drink them all. <laughs> all the PBRs in my fridge are gone, but all the craft beers are still yeah. there. <laughs> it's, you know, it's a situation in that fridge. <laughs> Anyways, what can I say? Bronx Brewery Summer Pale Ale with Lemon Peel, April 2023. I hope you go and try it. We love it. We're out. Bye.